A spectrophotometer is an instrument used to measure the intensity of light at a particular wavelength in the visible spectrum. This type of instrument can be used in the clinical laboratory to determine the concentration of a substance in solution by measuring the amount of light, either transmitted or absorbed, when a beam of light is passed through a sample reaction at a specific wavelength. For this video, we will be using a single beam spectrophotometer with a digital display. This instrument has a wavelength range of 340 nanometers to 950 nanometers and a nominal spectral bandwidth of 20 nanometers. The main controls for routine operation of this spectrophotometer include the power switch zero control, percentage T, the transmittance absorbance control, 100% T, 0.0A, the wavelength control, and the mode selection button. The power switch zero control knob is used to power the instrument on and off and to set the digital display to 0% transmittance, or T, when the sample compartment is empty and the cover is closed. The transmittance absorbance control knob is used to set the digital display to 100% transmittance, T, or 0.0, .0 absorbance, A, when a water blank or reagent blank is inserted in the sample compartment and the cover is closed. The wavelength control knob is used to select the desired wavelength for the analysis. The mode selection button is used to select between transmittance, absorbance, concentration, or factor mode. For most analysis, the absorbance or transmittance mode will be used. Some spectrophotometers may also have a filter level that must be adjusted to select the appropriate filter based on the wavelength to be used. To power on the spectrophotometer, plug the power cord into an appropriate outlet and rotate the power switch zero control, percentage T knob, in a clockwise direction. When working with instruments or equipment, always check the power cords for damage before inserting into a power source. The instrument will click on and the display will light up once the instrument has power. The instrument should be allowed to warm up for at least 15 minutes prior to use. After the instrument is warmed up, set the desired wavelength by turning the wavelength control knob. Set the filter lever to the appropriate position for the selected wavelength. For example, if the desired wavelength for testing is 450 nanometers, the lever should be positioned to the left so the 340 to 599 nanometer filter is in place. If the required wavelength were instead 650 nanometers, the lever should be positioned to the right so the 600 to 950 nanometer filter is in place. To account for any stray light in the sample compartment that could affect measurements, the instrument is first blanked or zeroed with nothing in the sample compartment. To zero the spectrophotometer, ensure that the sample compartment is empty and the cover is closed. Turn the power switch, zero control knob, percentage T, until the digital display shows the transmittance as 0%. Please note that this may require several turns of the knob. Some procedures require that the transmittance is monitored while others measure absorbance. Refer to your procedure to identify the desired measurement and use the mode selection button to toggle to the appropriate setting. Most procedures also require the instrument to be zeroed using a water blank or reagent blank to account for the effects of the solution itself. To prepare a water blank, Fill a clean cuvette with distilled water, avoiding the formation of bubbles. If using a reagent blank, fill a clean cuvette with the designated reagent. In general, cuvettes should be filled to at least half their volume. The minimum required volume for these spectrophotometers is 3 milliliters. Using a lint-free tissue, gently wipe the outside of the cuvette to remove any surface interference, such as fingerprints, dust, or liquid. Insert the cuvette into the sample compartment and align the guide mark on the cuvette with the guide mark on the compartment. 
Gently, but firmly, push the cuvette into the sample compartment and close the cover. Using the Transmittance Absorbance Control Knob, 100% T, 0.0A, adjust the display to 100% Transmittance, T, or 0 Absorbance, A, depending on the mode previously selected. Remove the cuvette and appropriately discard the water reagent. Do not discard the cuvette as it will be reused. Rinse the cuvette three times with distilled water and gently tap the rinsed cuvette on a small stack of paper towels to remove the remaining water. Use a lint-free tissue to wipe the outside of the cuvette. To measure the transmittance or absorbance of a sample reaction, fill a clean cuvette with at least three milliliters of the solution, avoiding formation of any bubbles. Use a lint-free tissue to wipe the outside of the cuvette and insert the cuvette into the sample compartment, making sure to align the guide marks. Close the cover and record the percentage transmittance or absorbance from the digital display. Remove the cuvette and appropriately discard the sample reaction. Rinse the cuvette three times with distilled water and gently tap the rinsed cuvette on a small stack of paper towels to remove the remaining water. Use a lint-free tissue to wipe the outside of the cuvette. Repeat this process for all remaining samples to be measured. Once all measurements are complete, the spectrophotometer should be powered off by turning the power switch, zero control knob, percentage T, counterclockwise until the instrument clicks and the display is blank. Carefully unplug the power cord from the outlet. Clean up any spills on the instrument using a lint-free tissue dampened with water or ethanol followed by a paper towel dampened with plain water or around the instrument with a bench cleaning solution. Completely dry the exterior of the instrument with a lint-free wipe. The spectrophotometer should be covered and placed in a secure area for storage.